Hi, and welcome back to another video from Guide to SolidWorks. Um, today we're going to have a look at the creation of a thumb screw, particularly more interestingly looking at the process of creating a nail on SolidWorks. Um, so let's have a go. So first thing I'm going to do is on the front plane I am going to create a sketch and I've just been on the internet and got some sizes for this so I am going to create an outline that I can then revolve to create the shape that I want. Right so so I'm just creating an outline there um, uh, that I'm going to spin around that center line. So I'm going to take a diameter of 36, so 18 radius. I'm going to take a 15 radius there. And I'm going to take a 16 radius there. Now, this section is going to be five radius, like so. So now we've got all our diameters. I want to get my distances along. So I'm going to go 30 and go five, two. And that bit is going to be 15 to give me my specific sizes for this. Okay, just in case you want to see any of them, I'll just extend these dimensions out so you get a better view. And then that one fits in there nicely. Okay, so that's creating the outline for my shape. Now I've got that outline, I'm going to go over to Features, and I'm going to revolve that, and I'm going to revolve it around this center line at the bottom, like so. Tick and add that in. Okay, so, um, like I said, this is all about the nail, but I'm just going to put a bit of a thread on here, just so we've got an idea. Um, so, putting a thread on, we go to the whole wizard, and go to the thread tool here. Okay. Um, and we're going to add that on. Now, this is set up, it's a 10 milli shaft, so it's a 10 milli shaft with a, one, with a pitch of one. So I'm going to put that on here, and I'm going to revolve that nicely down 25 mil. So 25 mil from the end. However, I want to have an offset on there of one milli. Now that offset has gone into the end of the shaft. I want it to stick out. So I'm just going to flip that offset there so it sticks out. That one milli offset needs to be the same distance as that pitch. As long as it's that distance or more, then we're happy that the thread's going to come all the way out of the end. Okay. We've, I have done a video on creating a thread. So if you um, want to have a look at that, I just go through the process in a bit more detail. And um, that might be quite useful. I'll add a link in the top of the page. So we've got our thread created there. Now, this is where we're going to create our nail on this section here. So I'm just going to add in, first of all, two chamfers, one on either end. So I'm going to go to the chamfer tool. And I'm going to add a 0.5 chamfer in on that end and that end, like so. OK, so once I've got that, that top surface there that I highlighted is the surface I'm going to put my nail on. So to create a nail, I'm going to sketch on this outside plane. I'm going to sketch, and I'm going to create, in fact, if I turn that so I am normal to that face, so we can see a bit easier. I'm going to use this outside circle, the right outside edge, and I'm going to convert the entity on that to make a circle like so. OK. Now, once I've got that circle, you can see it there, I am going to screw a create a helix across this surface so if we go to features curves 
and I'm going to create a helix spiral. Now this is this is all set up because I've done this before um, recently. Now what you'll have found is it'll have been set to pitch revolution and you'll have random sizes in here. What you want to do is set that to height and revolution. You want to set your height as the distance from this face to the other side of this top section. Which in my which in this case is fifteen, and you want to set in your revolution all have been set to one, which takes you all the way around like so. We don't want it at one. We want to go to naught point two five, taking me a quarter of the way around. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm just going to tick OK, and that'll add that arc in there. Okay, so then I'm going to sketch again on this face. So I'll sketch on there. And this time I am going to create a triangle. So I want that triangle to be right up at the top here. So I'm just going to put a center line in to identify where I want it to go. And I'm going to draw a line here. Clicking the point here, I've, I've offset it because it allows me to create a relationship between. So if I click that end point of my center line and my line, I'm going to make a relationship of midpoint. And then I'm going to set that as a distance of 0 0.5. Zoom right in so we can see 0 0.5. Then I'm going to create a triangle. I'm going to bring that right down and up there and i'm going to make that from this top line down to the bottom there 0 0.5 like so creating a sharp cut and that cut is what's going to cut through the surface of this uh, top face now to do that i need to go to my features and I'm going to go to sweep cut. So I'm going to sweep cut that shape, that profile along that curvature, like so. And that'll take it around there. Take that, and that gives me that cutout all the way through the surface there. Now, from that, I am now going to pattern it all the way around. Um, like this. So you use the circular pattern. So I'll just go back to that so I'm not rushing off. So here's our linear pattern option in features. Drop down to circular pattern. And I am going to use my direction of this outer circle on the front face there. And it will put them on. Now I've set it to 50. You'll probably find that when you come on, it's set to two. Um, I just found when I was doing it, Make sure it's e that 50 was a nice number. Sorry, I just made when I was doing it that I found that 50 was a nice number to make it look quite nice. Uh, you also need to make sure that it's equally spacing and not instant spacing. So make sure it's equally sp equal spacing between them. Once we've got that, I'm going to tick that and add that in. Now, depending on your processing power of your computer, this will be quite quick could take a little bit of time not too bad there um, I am just going to hide that helix just get it out of the way so I don't have to keep seeing it the top face and you can see now we've got that line coming across okay sort of curving around the surface like a knowing torch the issue is now we need it in the opposite direction as well now I could create another helix create another triangle and repeat the process uh, however, it's a pain to try and get an exact the right position. Or to make it a lot easier for myself, I could click on this outside face, create a plane, and I'm going to flip the side of the plane to halfway through here, which is not, which is 7.5 millimeters because it's 15 long, 15. So I'll tick that, and that has dropped that plane slap bang in the middle of there. Now with that, what I'm going to do is mirror the pattern. So click the pattern, give it a second, and I'm going to mirror that pattern into that face. So mirror, 
and I am going to mirror across that plane that I've just created, plane two, like so. Tick. Give it a minute. Now this again, like I said, depending on the processing power of your computer, is where it either takes a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes or completely crashes. So we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so a few seconds there, but not too bad. Um, I'm just going to hide that plane now. And as you can see, we have got a lovely thumb screw with a nice null face on the outside there. Looking pretty cool. Okay, so that was just taking you through the process of doing a nail. And again, just looked at a quick thread. So if you want, go and try that out. Um, that would be um, a good little tutorial to try for learning how to do that nailing process. Um, hopefully you like the content. Hopefully um, you've learned something there today. Um, have a look through some of the videos. Again, I'll link some content into the video so you can have a look at how you do the thread. Um, if you're liking the content, please give us that big thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. See you soon.